Honey, are you alive? We really don't need that negative energy around. But I've been sitting in here and I was thinking, what can I do to make her feel better? No, I'm just kidding. I started freaking out a little bit. The color is too dark, but it's already too late. Stephanie is starting to regain consciousness. Here's an intrusive thought I have, is to start spinning this with my hair attached to it. <laughs> what if I just put my hair in there and start spinning it? What happens then? What happens? I need to know, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because I just recovered from a terrible illness. It might profoundly dramatic, absolutely, but I ate something. What do you think it was? Because only I got sick. Mm -hmm. So it's not a virus, it's not the flu. I feel like it was Natural probably- Natural selection. <laughs> no, I feel like there was probably some pork in something that I didn't think there was pork in and then it obliterated me. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine because I just need some good sleep. I've been waking up at like three in the morning for the past three days to go, to go diarrhea, to go puke. And I finally feel like today I'm good. I used to drink this every single night. When I was sick, I stopped just in case. And then also like, you don't want to like keep up with your, your stuff, your routine when you're sick. And I, I kind of regret it because this is like the only thing that helps me sleep well at night. These are my dreams. Not really, <laughs> it's called dreams. I actually got this while I was in New York because New York, I don't sleep as well in New York. There's something about that elevator opening into the unit that kind of freaks me out a little. And I have all of these vivid thoughts at night. So I got a bag while I was in New York and I was like, you know what, I'll probably finish the bag. And then if I don't like it, you know, I don't like it. If I like it, will I repurchase it? I don't know, I was conflicted. Halfway through that bag emptying out, I got another one because I was like, listen, I need this to be on stockpile in New York, in Atlanta, because I'm kind of the perfect consumer for Dream. This is by a company called Beam, and it basically helps you sleep better at night. The Dream powder is kind of like a, a hot cup of cocoa at night. Dream is formulated to give you your best sleep. So it comes in a variety of different ingredients and different flavors. Okay, so this one is mine. This one is the chocolate peanut butter one. I love the cinnamon one. This one is so delicious. Something about it tastes like the holidays. That's what it is. So you put it a little scoop into each cup and then you're going to mix in eight-ish ounces of water or milk. If I'm feeling really festive, I do milk. But I like to do milk on a stove pot, you know? So most nights, I'm gonna be honest with you, I get lazy and I just do water, but it tastes so good either way. It's like the perfect drink to calm you down at night. There's just something about it. This and a book near the fireplace, you're just never gonna get anything like this, I'm telling you. I've tried other sleep aids. The next morning when I wake up, I feel groggy. With Dream, I never have that problem. I wake up feeling good. And it's only 15 calories with no added sugar, and I'm just like frothing it right now. You honestly can just mix it with a chopstick. Also, it's for my gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, non-GMO, keto-friendly girlies. Both of them have magnesium and L-theanine. If you guys are on the Andrew Huberman kick like I am, listen, I'm a magnesium L-theanine girly. Apparently, a lot of people don't get enough magnesium in their day, and it can impact sleep, mood, L-theanine also helps with better sleep. I I love the packaging on this because it's so informative. Like it even tells you about the sleep stages, which I think is super helpful. Also the numbers don't lie. In a clinical study, 93% of participants reported that they sleep better after a cup of dream. So click the link or scan the QR code to shop Beam's biggest sale and get up to 50% off. This cat is auto applied. No code is necessary. Just click the link in the description or scan this QR code to shop Beam's biggest sale of the year. And like truly, I recommend both the flavors. You can also get dream with or without CBD. But I'm gonna show you guys what happened in the past three days because as I was out like a clock, some shit was brewing down here. There was a witch's little cauldron brewing down here. People were moving things around. I heard thumping. I heard K-pop blasting at one point. I felt like I was in a fever dream. So I'm gonna show you what's been going on in this house for the past three days. Flashback. Hello, welcome to my office. You might be wondering, where's Stephanie? Why isn't she next to you? It's weird, right? So Stephanie has been sick. She's been sick for a couple days now. She's kind of dying. So I've been in this office all by myself and I have to admit, it's kind of nice. Um, Honey, are you alive? We really don't need that negative energy around. So I've been sitting in here for a couple days and I was thinking, what can I do to make her feel better? No, I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about what can I do to make this room better? You know what this is. Stephanie loved this color. She's been wanting a green office, a green library. And I was thinking, you know, since she won't be in here, might as well, right? Paint the whole room. 
by myself. Tomorrow morning, this wall, green. This wall, green. This door, this wall, green. This wall, green. The ceiling, green. Have I done this before? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Maybe I should watch a YouTube video. So the next morning, I was up at 6 a.m. I am vaccinated, caffeinated. Now, two hours later, I have successfully removed the neon light and cleared the table. <sighs> I spent all morning trying to procrastinate. I clear all the rooms. Everything in here is gone. I think I have to do the wall now. Now, this wall over here, is our baby and just like a baby it was a bitch to put up imagine playing tetris but instead of five shapes you get 25 of them by the way stephanie loves tetris because it's the only game she can beat me i was struggling putting all these pictures up so i'm not about to do it all over again i thought i could get away with keeping all the nails and hooks on the wall and just take a photo of the placement so we can hook it back on easily. So these are all the hooks we had on the wall prior. So I'm trying to think, maybe I can paint it, go ahead and stick it back in so I, lo I don't lose any spot where each piece hangs. Big brain. Big brain. So I'm not gonna lie to you, um, I'm just a little bit in over my head. I looked up a couple of videos online. It seems like kind of a difficult project. It's not like a quick DIY finish in two hours type of job. So I decided to call my father, a very handy man, and he called me too young, too naive. He thinks I'm definitely well over my head. So currently he's actually going to Home Depot and getting all the supplies and on his way here. Progress update. We have it all taped up. Soon after my father arrived, we spent half a day just to tape up the whole room. As soon as we started rolling, I started freaking out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. My father kept telling me the color is too dark, but it's already too late. Stephanie is starting to regain consciousness. Honey, are you alright? Do you need anything? Let me know if you need anything, okay? We really tried to finish it the same day. My arm, dead. My back, not good. It was so much harder than I thought. This is the best we could do after the first day. Status update, green. I was freaking out even more at night. The room has gone at least 10 shades darker. It feels like a dungeon. Also, you can see the hesitation in Oma's eyes. It's very dark, Oma. I think Oma's very dark. <laughs> Some mood? Uh-huh, mood, yes. It definitely looks moody and vibey. You think Stephanie like it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong two, day two. It smells very, giving me some high. Do you feel that way, Mingo? So today's mission is complete this whole room. We're gonna repaint the whole walls, all the walls once again. Day two is even more rough. It's so tedious to clean up the edges and corners. And as soon as I started painting the door frame, Oma was losing it. She even ran to Stephanie to tell her what kind of mistakes we're making. But I don't think Stephanie was fully there to understand. I decided to paint the outside. Stephanie's mom saw it like up there and she freaked out. She literally even ran to Stephanie, was screaming at Stephanie like, oh my God, oh my God, they're painting the outside. I don't know, man. I'm kind of into it. I don't know. All right, kiddos, it's day three. I think all the paints are dry now. I'm going to go ahead and start hanging everything back on and kind of set this room up nice and pretty so I can show it to Stephanie. Today is the day for her to see it. Whoa, that's cute. Pops up much more because of the contrast between the walls. This is Tiger seat, actually. Tiger spends a good 80% of his day laying right here. We finished the whole office and decided to let the paint dry overnight before I started hanging all the artworks back on. But I do want to share a story though, behind this piece. I, I can't remember the artist's name, but this is the true story behind this piece of artwork. It's an artwork about his wife actually, and this was actually his 26th wife. All the previous ones has died in the most mysterious conditions. And this one too. Her name was Kat. She also passed after this painting. I think it was during a horse ride, she fell off a horse and bumped her head on a coconut and died. The horse ran for the fence and never returned. I know, hit and run. Tragic. 
Anyways, I just made all that up, and、uh, here is the finished office. Enjoy. Some flour delivered. Oh my god, this is perfect. Yes. Honey. Yes. It's like ready. I haven't seen you in so long.、Yeah. I feel like I got sick, and then you just started disappearing at odd hours、Honey's、of the day. day.、Uh, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> are you worried? Yes, only because my mom has been running up the stairs, <laughs> slamming the room door open. I literally having fever dreams on this bed, sweating up a storm, and she goes, "They're painting the outside," and I'm like. <laughs> All right, let's、mean? go see it. Let's go、okay. see it. Okay, eyes closed. Okay. Hold my hand. Okay. Wait, okay, I don't、go. know if I no, trust you like、Just、that. Walk, walk, walk. Wait, I'm、okay. really nervous.、Okay. You're, you have space, honey. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Go ahead, open your eyes. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh my god, it's perfect. There's flowers. You didn't see the flower? I forgot to say something about it.、It's、oh, there's no no notes in there. Yeah, it's just for the vibes. Um, honey. <laughs> yeah. How did you paint the ceiling? Just with a roly. Did it take、yeah. a long time? Hell yeah, it took a long time. I can't believe you did this. What? Green. You think I can do a green screen? Okay, Stephen Jane, is this green screenable, or is it not? Is I don't it? think so. I don't think so. Okay. Say that one more time. <laughs> Say it again. Okay. I waited for the cameras to turn off, and I went. <laughs> not bad paintwork. <laughs> Better than I thought. It's like a black hole. Okay. Give me the nighttime Ready? vibes. I'm closing my eyes. Yes. Whoa. Ready? Ambiance. It's such a vibe. Imagine if this was a bedroom. That's too much. Did you know I had a bright red bedroom? I had a blood red bedroom. For a year in high school, we moved to a new house, and it was this color red bedroom, this color red. And then my mom thought, okay, since we're moving in, we gotta just go with the red walls. She got me a black canopy bed. <laughs> it was like. A dungeon. You know it's funny. I'm sitting here thinking, who the f paint their room bright red? <laughs> Next owner comes in. <laughs> who the f paint their room green? <laughs> Did we just devalue our home? Is that how it works? Oma, what do you think? Palapen. Palapen. But yesterday you didn't like it. Ooh, what does she have to say? She must have something important to say if she set up her camera in front of this magical, beautiful scenery. I have nothing to say. I just want to talk because I want to show off this backdrop. I do want to talk. <laughs>
because um, for the past 48 hours, I haven't talked. Do you understand how difficult that is for me? Every time I get sick, after I'm done, after I've resuscitated myself, I've recovered, all I want to do is talk his ear off. So that's what we're doing today. Let me tell you the story of a dog. You'll never believe this story. This was the most bad shit crazy story that I've ever heard in a really long time. As someone that works with Jane and Steven. Oh, if you guys don't know, Jane and Steven, they're our friends, but they're also our editors. So all these vlog edits you be seeing, how I look so cool and hot and they make me always look fantastic. That's Jane and Steven. <laughs> they live in Serbia. You know, if I didn't know Jane and Steven, what they told me on that specific day made me feel like it was one of those bizarre get out of work phone calls. Hear me out. I get a phone call from them and they go, hey, sorry, so the video is gonna be late. So we were driving in the car and the car in front of us ran through a dog, a stray dog on the side of the road like 60 miles per hour, kept on driving. I'm like, that sounds crazy. So they go, so then we got out of the car. We went to the dog, the dog is still alive. And at this point I'm still like, wait, I am still processing this information. I didn't even have time to be sad yet because of how quickly this news was being delivered to me. Jane and Steven are the kings and queens of delivering me the most out of pocket, bizarre news, but very casually. It's very like to the point. Anyway, we got out of the car, the dog is still alive. I'm like, what is going on right now? Dog is still alive. They bring the dog to the vet, all four legs broken, tail, Broken. The only reason I can say this more casually is because there's a happy ending, okay, calm down. Anyway, I'm laughing at the comical effect of how they just tell me things so bluntly. So basically, they tell us the dog has four broken legs, all the legs are broken, the tail is broken, and she might not make it. Now what's even crazier is they keep going from vet to vet and apparently there's a crazy stray dog problem in Serbia so no vet wants to take stray dogs in because the chances of them even making it out alive are really slim to none. Even if you're willing to pay. Like that part was so crazy to me because I'm like, what do you mean this is a business? Like if you're willing to pay, I don't know why they wouldn't take the dog in. Mm -hmm. And they were like, it's just a thing. They're like, no, keep the dog and maybe we'll operate in like two business days. How do you keep a dog a puppy it w she's a puppy how do you keep a puppy with broken legs in the home thankfully they were able to receive some sort of painkiller so hopefully the puppy didn't feel all the pain i'm gonna tell you her name later because it's a really cute name but they kept her for multiple days until they finally brought her in for surgery she had to have metal rods put into all of her legs so basically <sighs> the first few days the dog was sleeping at Jane and Steven's house and because yeah. the dog can uh, walk yeah. so he will poop everywhere another aspect that made it really rough was because the dog is a stray puppy the dog doesn't trust humans so Jane and Steven are trying to help the baby because it's like don't poop like we're just trying to wipe the poop off your butt so you're not sleeping in poop but then the dog would freak out if humans try to get she even bit Jane's little sister. She just kept trying to run away and her legs are broken. So she's just causing further and further damage to her legs. And they were so stressed out. They said it was like a full time job, like having a newborn. And I know like parent moms are gonna be like, having a child is nothing like, ha have you had a dog with four broken legs? Thank you, okay, exactly. So they're like, it's literally like having a child. We had to alternate our sleep schedules. They started doing the night shift, the day shift. It was the three of them. So it's Jane, Stephen, and her sister going in shifts on top of that around this time, their family got hit with COVID. Mm. Oh my God, it was like back to back obliteration, okay? They finally take her in to get operated on. They put the rods in and for weeks, Oh man, how long has it been? Jane and Steven will tell you right here how long it's been. She was in cast, she wasn't allowed to walk. She still couldn't poop on her own because again, she can't even stand up. So they would have to try and time her pees. The minute that she would start peeing, cause she's sleeping on a pad, they would have to lift her up so gently not to hurt her and also not get bit because she's still learning to trust them. Take away the soaked pee pee pad, put in a new pad and then the poops the poops were the worst. So when she pooped, she would poop while she's laying down, but dogs really hate, like I anyone hates being in their own poop. So she would start freaking out and kind of like scraping her poop around and then she would have to get showered, but it's so hard to shower her cause you can't even just like rinse her down cause she's got so many stitches, so many things going on. So it's like a very timely operation where every time she shits, 
the whole house on lockdown. Red alert. So they discovered this thing where sometimes they would take her to the vet and she would poop in the car. So they're like, something about this car. Something about the car. It's a pattern. It's a pattern of behavior. So they would do this thing where they would just hold her in the car, not even exiting the driveway, and somehow it would stimulate her poops. So they were now trying to time her poops in that manner. Is that not absolutely unhinged? And I want to show you this video because I've been waiting to see it. Jane sent me this video of the baby. Her name is Gigi. When they brought the dog into the vet, their whole process was, this dog is going to get big because it's a puppy and it was already pretty big. I would say like twice the size of Mango as a puppy and they don't really know what breed she is so they have no idea what they're in for like it could be a great day in size dog so they're thinking all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover all the vet bills help her recover and when she's a hundred percent into recovery we'll probably find a loving home for her so we'll be like the foster parents that's what they told me day one two weeks later they're like i think this dog is ours I think like it's not even we chose this dog. It's the dog distribution program chose us Okay, so she said Gigi is getting her stitches out tomorrow And I am proud to announce that she is capable of doing the pee pee poo poo routine all on her own At this point we keep her in a harness to prevent her from jumping and sprinting and re-victimizing herself Gigi is my sister's child. Honestly, my sister is the reason that we're not giving up her up for adoption They've bonded. I'm kind of happy. We're keeping her just because we put so much energy into her recovery I would never be able to give her away and not constantly worry if her new owners are treating her well. Aww. <sighs> and Gigi is very cute. Stephanie, you remember the dog we rescued from the street? This is her now. Hello, Gigi! Aww. Hello! Hello! Oh, she's so like cute. Like a beagle? Oh, she's such <gasps> a cute dog! Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Hello! Cute. Oh. And like obviously I don't want anyone to like misconstrue it. We're smiling and talking about it so lightly because it's a happy ending. If you had talked to me a month ago, I'd be like, oh my god, this is literally yeah. the most depressing thing that's ever happened because Jane and I had a whole rant about like how do people just do stuff like that? Like none of that makes sense. Even the vet didn't make sense. Like how are you not taking someone's money? Fine, you don't care about pets even though you're literally a vet? Shame on you, but at least be a smart business owner. Take our money. What do you mean? You can't operate because there's no point. Yeah. <sighs> Here's the thing, what I'm not sad about. Tell me why I checked our cameras because I got a motion alert. And why I saw the clonkiest, chonkiest raccoon just like fucking around in our yard. Well, you wanna, you wanna rescue a raccoon too? That's crazy. I almost thought about it because there's a TikTok account that I was watching and I was absorbed in. They opened their kitchen window and they set out different plates of food. And there's one neighborhood raccoon that always comes to this house and it's like a food rating system. So the raccoon likes grapes. Raccoon is okay with cereal, doesn't love eggs. So I know what raccoons like. So I, I, I think I could be a good raccoon mom actually. Raccoon's cute. Raccoon is cute. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go cuddle my dog tonight and talk his ear off. This is gonna be me in bed. Honey? So what are you thinking about? Honey? What should I think about? <laughs> and then he's always on a side like this. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't get sick. Don't eat the thing that you're allergic to because you will get sick. How many times do I have to learn this lesson? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out Dream. I'm gonna link it below because I'm about to ha go have another cup of it. So good. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah.